Groucho Marx would often begin by saying, before I speak, I have something important to say. <laughs> Along those lines, let me provide the disclaimer that anything said by a guest speaker do not necessarily <laughs> represent the views of all PCI, <laughs> our parent company, Force Inc., or any of its affiliates or subsidiaries. <laughs> Let's get that out. I would like to, on behalf of the government of the Texas Islands, uh, say a uh, hearty congratulations to Fortis, TCI, Mr. Eddington Powell, and his awesome team uh, for having the vision, the foresight to put on such a conference such as this. And I think I took two sips of that vodka. Reverend, pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and went to sleep. In the meantime, the sun moved, and I'm dehydrated from swimming a half a mile, and I'm dehydrated from going to sleep in the sun, and my wife comes and said, Andy, Johnny Cochran just died. And the shock, I, I jumped up and passed out. And um, if you've seen Diary of a Mad Black Woman, <laughs> where they dragged the band, she dragged me into the, to a, a, a tub, tub of ice cold water uh, and pulled me in it and called my doctor here. Uh, and he came and rehydrated me uh, and saved my life. Uh, so uh, I've had such wonderful experiences here that any time I'm invited to come here for almost any reason, uh, I, 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 I can't turn down the invitation. We all know that the islands are British overseas territory made up of 40 islands and keys, eight of which are inhabited. The total land mass is 193 square miles. We're blessed with many natural assets, most notably our beaches, our beauty, and our ideal location next to many key markets. Being located only 575 miles southeast of the U.S., the majority of our visitors and investors are from the U.S., and Canada being our second closest market. Looking at the topic, there are two words stand out, foundations and sustained. Together they imply that we as a country and people are building or seeking social and economic developments and that they have to be built on solid foundations to lessen disruption and uncertainty. Disruption and uncertainty cause pain and suffering for real people on the ground as corrective policies and reforms become necessary. It follows that we, should be, that we should have a notion of what we mean by sustained social and economic developments, and we have to define the prudent foundations on which they will be built. for my family and the truth is um, we're working so much that for this family and trying to provide a better quality of life for the family and then we end up using this losing the same family we're working for and so as also corporate providentialities you encourage your, your staff go home they ain't at 10 5 6 7 8 9 o'clock at night working working work no go home Spend some time with the family.
there are important distinctions to be made. For instance, on the one hand, we are a serious series of islands, an archipelago. We are in the Windward Passage where the world has navigated trade between the North and South, whether to America or to Europe for 500 years. That's why South Caicos used to be called East Harbor, the Big South. We have a thir the third largest reef system in the world. And so the world takes an interest in that uh, towards Turks and Caicos. We are 647 miles away from the largest economic system in human history. But these points characterize our fixed situation. These were not cultivated by our skills. Nature herself put us in this position. What I want to talk with you about is not what you see. Um, it's how you see it. And Bobby Kennedy said that some people see things as they are and ask why. Others see things as they should be and ask why not. In development economics, while growth is the prerequisite for development, by itself, it is not a sufficient condition. The scope of the economic development and social developments we should be seeking should be wider. It should include considered actions in the areas of human capital development, critical infrastructure provision, competitiveness, environmental sustainability, social inclusion, health, security, literacy, among other initiatives. We should be aiming to link economic prosperity with environmental stewardship, social equity, and cultural integration. These changes will take place over time. They might involve several generations. In fact, we should be making an intergenerational covenant with future generations that we will be good stewards of the resources, skills, and talents of these islands to give them the best chance now and in a very dynamic world whose boundaries we cannot fathom. The Turks and Caicos Islands has built a foundation for sustained social and economic development in the islands based on five key pillars or strengths. The first is by putting in place a good governance structure. The second, making the best use of our proximity and access to outside markets. The third, the establishment of renowned telecommunication, utility, and other infrastructure. The fourth, the development of a vibrant economy. And the fifth, the establishment of strong policies and development objectives. And I can remember being with Martin Luther King right after he won the Nobel Prize. And uh, we came back from Oslo and uh, went to see President Johnson. And he spent over an hour and a half telling us why the president couldn't introduce voting rights legislation in 1965. And he ended um, his soliloquy, because he didn't give us a chance to say anything, uh, with the simple statement, you know, everybody thinks the president has a lot of power. But there's really not much power in this job. I left kind of discouraged. But when we left the White House walking down that uh, dark road uh, out of the West Wing, I said to Dr. King, what do you think? <laughs> and remember, he was 33 years old then, and um, shorter than me. Uh, and uh, his answer was, you know, I think we got to figure out how to get this president some power. <laughs> <laughs> We import 98% of what we consume. We do not have an international bond financial rating for the country. We have very poor economies of scale, which affects first costs in pricing on imports. We require foreign labor for growth and the viability of our local or domestic markets. These factors make us dependent on other nations, whether formally and implicitly, as in, ca in the case of the United Kingdom, or informally, as in the case of the Bahamas, the United States, and the island of Hispaniola. Uh, in these challenging times, uh, conferences like these um, and forums like these are very important in ensuring that each and every one of us, uh, as individuals, as companies and businesses, and as a government, 
maximize on the opportunities and the potential that are before us. The Turks and Caicos Islands could be considered a well-governed territory. As a British overseas territory, we're governed by the Queen's appointed governor, who has executive authority and presides over the cabinet, the premier, who has the local government, which is responsible for policy development, and it consists of up to six other ministers, the House of Assembly, which is responsible for enacting legislation and consists of 19 members, 15 elected and four appointed, the legal system, which is based on English common law, and the judicial branch, which is headed by the chief justice and chief magistrate. When the family begins to fall apart, as I said, the nation will eventually fall apart. Ultimately, I hope we, collectively the government, the private sector, and ordinary citizens would resolve to turn ideas into policies and projects to address, to address the challenges being faced by many of our people today. Martin Luther King and Jimmy Carter. They were very ordinary people in many, many ways. Not nearly in some ways as distinguished as many of you, but they had a way of uh, believing and seeing, and seeing things that uh, nobody else could see. Uh, and uh, that's what I want to try to get you to do. I can't teach you anything about uh, government or about business, uh, but I can, I hope, get you to see the world as I see it. It takes more than just one institution. It takes all of us. And, um, and it requires us to get involved. I went to a car wash, and as I sat there, these three young men next to me were smoking a joint, and I was on the phone. I just couldn't believe that they were smoking marijuana so openly. I thought it was a cigarette, and I said, I was talking to the person, I said, hold on. Is that marijuana you're smoking? And they looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know that's illegal? They passed it. <laughs> so I said to the person, you see, watch this. Didn't call the police, because I also have a social responsibility. It's young fellas. I said to them, let me call you back. I got a situation. And I clearly have my hang up. And I began to speak to them sternly. And um, when I began to speak to them, they began to put it out. They began to question them. And they have good jobs, just idle. We began to talk about a number of things, a number of facts of life, and um, uh, one or two got uncomfortable and they left. The other stayed, we talked. You see, I realized that I too have a part to play in trying to steer them in the right. We will turn the country over to these people. Hmm? They will work for us. And so I have a part, I have a role to play to make sure that they go in the right direction. I really think that by bringing people together and bringing ideas together and putting ideas into the marketplace, hopefully some solution will bubble to the surface. I've been privileged to not only spend a lot of time in the Caribbean, uh, but in the course of my life, I've, there are about 206 countries that are member nations in the United Nations. And I've had a chance to visit 152 of them. And there's no place that I've been uh, where I have been discouraged and when I, when I have not seen potential. But almost every place I've been, everybody is complaining about what exists. And they always see what's wrong. And the news media is most guilty of that. <laughs> if it bleeds, it leads. <laughs> uh, and, um, and so if you look at your evening news and believe that that's the world in which we live, uh, you have a jaundiced view of God's universe. Fortis TCI is an integral part of the TCI community. By hosting the plenary session and bringing together local and international speakers and presenters, we hope to create a forum where thoughtful ideas on diverse topics such as business, 
economics, technology, international development trends, and social issues can be presented and discussed in a bipartisan atmosphere with the participation of a cross-section of the community. The results, we hope, are new ideas and perhaps than an occasion to look at our challenges and opportunities from different angles.